All right, folks, of course, we spent lots of time in New Orleans at Essence Festival and talked to a lot of different people. I caught up with Cece Winans as she talked about her new project and her surprise tribute there to Sissy Houston. Whenever you're received by your own people, your own culture, it's, I don't think there's anything that compares to that. Mm -hmm. And to see us all doing something together in unity, having fun, enjoying the weather, enjoying the different gifts and talents that come out of what God has given us. It's a, it's a great thing to experience. And they all think, they also all think uh, they're your cousins. <laughs> you know, they've seen it. Oh, like, of course. Hey, they've been, yes, that's what I love about it. Right. It's no strangers. Uh-uh, at all, <laughs> at all, uh-uh. And I know they know you. They, oh, I know they, you they, are they, their they, best they friend. They be like, hey, Uncle Roro, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing? Well, here's, 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 what, here's what I know people watch. You know, I end my show every day with holla. Uh-huh. So I walk up to you be like, holla. Uh -huh. Like, okay, you watch. You watch. It's, al it's always a seasoned saint, it. too. Uh, always. She woke up by 75. She'd be like, holla. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's got to make you feel pretty oh, great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? So it's, all, it's always good. good. All good. So what you got? What you working on? What you got? Well, just, just finished a new record. So I have a new record now. Um, Let Them Fall In Love is the name of it. Mm. I'm on tour. Okay. Fall In Love Tour. Just just performed here in New Orleans uh, oh, cool. a few weeks ago. It was really great. I had a great time. Who are you doing with? Just um, you? Yeah, just me. Okay. Just me. Got a new record, and I'm pretty excited about it. And then tonight, or should I say tomorrow, I'm here for, I'm a surprise guest for one of the people that they're honoring. Okay. All right, So then. I better keep that a surprise, all I right guess. All right, well, In know, case they're watching. You know, like, well, no, but this, this is going to air when it's all over. So, oh, when it's all so over. So it'll be all good. So, so, so you can actually say who, okay, who you're Okay, Sissy. They're That's honoring what, Sissy. So, they, she, so they, she don't, they don't know. No, she, oh, does, she doesn't know. She don't know. So I'm honored to be here. You're going to get a test. Girl, where you at? <laughs> oh, I'm in New Jersey. Uh, I'm if in not, Nashville. If not, you're going to get it. It's going to be your uh, fault. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That means you can't take no pictures on social media. That's right. I'm sitting in front of I'm doing all of that. Right, <laughs> exactly. I'm hiding. Now, it, what I need to know is, has B.B. finally learned the name of y'all songs? <laughs> uh, when we were the Tom Jonah family reunion, <laughs> uh, when, uh, when Grace came out. Right. Remember doing a concert? He was just making up words. Oh, and, and we were backstage. And he was like, that is what were you so doing? <laughs> you like, you he's like, that. I forgot the words. And you look like, what <laughs> is he singing? You know what? It's always hard when you come out with something new. It's like you better you better go in there and practice. Right. And you know, BB, he doesn't think he has to practice. You he know? was sitting there just making he, it up. It comes work. easy for him. Most of the time, I, I have to work at it. He does it. Have you ever been on that stage where you felt something in that room where you said, you know what? I need to switch up what I'm doing because I'm I'm. I'm picking up something but I need to shift what my plan was. Definitely. And even even speaking, you feel that. But I didn't realize this is the first time I heard that somebody that doesn't prepare at all and kind of walk in. Well, you kind of know what you're right. going to do. But, but no, I, I just but tell you let the room tell, tell you. how much time I got. Wow. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I, I've written one speech in my life, and I never read from it. But literally, I, I can give a 15, a 20, 30, 45, hour and a half. Just by filling in the room. Yeah. Wow. But, yeah, th definitely that happens to me a lot. You know, you have a program, but then you get there, and it's like, no, I sense I need to go this direction. Mm -hmm. Or even speaking, you know. So, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying, but I've never went out and just said, okay, let me just feel I, what's I, happening. No, I've literally That's amazing. changed my speech. Going like I said, okay, fine, I'm gonna settle on this while I'm sitting down. Uh -huh. I've literally changed it walking to the podium. Wow. Yeah. And that's the beauty of I'm not writing it because, you know, I can just flip it. Yeah. But, yeah. but literally, and see, now my, my wife was, so she gets so mad at me because so she's ordained. So she's she, probably nervous. Baby, she been, you know, she's been ordained 23 years. Oh so my like, God. like when she preaches, okay. she goes in this cocoon. Yeah. She, she like goes that's in That's me. You have to work so like hard at weeks. it. <laughs> she got books, you know, she's just all in this. Yes. You know, you can't really talk to her. Right. I'm like, I'm sorry. So I, I, I did three services at the that's church. That's not fair. And we were going in and she goes, what, she, what are you going to talk about? I said, I don't know. I hadn't decided. I'm literally, I'm literally sitting in the pulpit. Choir singing. I'm talking, they, they, they singing like right before I go up. <laughs> like the and, last song. And I literally open the Bible up and go, I find a scripture, I take a half of a scripture, and then you come up with my up. title, know what my points are, and boom. Oh, you know what? I'm not even speaking and to you anymore. I'm so with your mad. wife. I'm and on she, her I side. Said, I said, baby, don't hate the gift. Oh. Don't hate the gift. <laughs> <laughs> don't hate the gift. I said, don't hate the gift. <laughs> 
that would be tempting not to hate the oh, gift she kept in the, that circumstance. Because she's in this hole. That's me, too. No, I, I call I, it a hole. I have no. to go into a cave. Mm -mm. Oh, you know what? Is this interview over? Because I'm done <laughs> talking to you. <laughs> I am totally done. Are you serious? Yeah. No, seriously. Wow. No, seriously. I tell don't hate the gift. Well, too man. much is given, much is required. Yeah, I'm not so. like I say somebody got uh, it. <laughs> Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. No. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.